welcome to online learning channel the edu cafe hello students i am dr priya parker having 30 plus years of teaching experience in degree college this video presents concept of ecosystem ecosystem is the most basic and significant concept in environmental studies geography and foundation course second year it will help you in understanding the most basic concept of ecosystem now let us start to learn before we start to understand the concept of ecosystem let us have a look at the expected questions in the examination in offline mode of examination a question may come for 5 marks as write a short note on ecosystem or be a long question for 10 marks like define the term ecosystem and explain types and functions of the ecosystem let us spend some time to know the concept of ecosystem ans hackel a german scholar coined the term ecology ecology in 1869 the term ecology has been made by the two different greek words ikos means home and logos means study thus the term ecology means study of relationship of different living organisms with each other and natural environment in short ecology is the study of ecosystems ecology helps us to understand how the actions of human beings affect ecosystems and the extent of damage that human being causes to the environment in the there are different levels of organizations any individual species of living organism forms the basic level it may be the fish the butterfly the tiger the deer or any plant when these living organisms to the same species they form a group and interact together in the same environment this is called as population and groups of different species of living organisms is known as the community when different species of living organ different species of living organisms are found interacting with each other as well as with their non living environment it becomes ecosystem now let us look at the concept and definition of ecosystem the term ecosystem can be defined as the relationship interaction of living organisms with each other as well as with their non living environment in a specific geographical area this is a typical example of the forest ecosystem in forest ecosystem there are both living and non living organisms the trees the birds the lions the deer the fish and microorganisms are examples of living organisms while the sunlight the air the water the soil and the rocks are examples of non living environment some living organisms consume plants to satisfy the needs of their food while some living organisms like the tiger the lion depends on other living organisms like the deer or the fox for food thus all living organisms depend upon each other depend upon each other so if damage made to the species of any living organism they will threaten the existence of other living organisms and ultimately to the entire ecosystem all living organisms also depend on their non living environment for their survival they need air water sunlight soil for their survival so we must remember that degradation of any of these non living factors will pose threat to the entire ecosystem we should also remember that each ecosystem is unique in nature the living organisms found in one ecosystem may not found in another ecosystem the plants animals microorganisms found in forest ecosystem mountain ecosystem desert ecosystem 
aquatic ecosystem or polar ecosystems are different therefore we should not destroy them because destruction of any ecosystem cannot be compensated now let us look at the types of eco the types of ecosystem basically there are two types of ecosystem one the natural ecosystem and second is the man made ecosystem the natural ecosystem is regulated by the sun it completely depends on the sun satisfies all types of needs including food water and energy supply thus desert ecosystem polar ecosystem forest ecosystem aquatic means water ecosystem are the examples of the natural ecosystem or ecosystem on the other hand man made ecosystem depends upon human being for its survival coconut groves aquarium garden ecosystem farm ecosystem are some of the examples of man made ecosystem here are natural ecosystems the plants and animals found in different ecosystems are different to give an example the fish found in the salty sea water will be different than the fish found in the fresh river water though broadly they come under the category of the of the fish similarly the trees found in rain forest will be different than found in deciduous forest or coniferous forest thus each ecosystem has unique set of living and non living organisms These are some of the examples of man made ecosystems in case of man made ecosystem the human being controls and decides the components in the man made ecosystem take example of aquarium or fish tank at your home where you decide everything right from the type and number of fishes you will have the timings of the food serving when to change the water from the fish tank and so on and so forth in case of farm ecosystem also the farmer decides the type of crop time and amount of fertilizers and, and water of the crop thus man made ecosystem depends entirely on human being dear students click the like button and provide your comments do subscribe my youtube channel edu cafe for such short informative videos on topics from environmental studies foundation course and geography so far we have seen the concept and types of ecosystem now let us study the function of the ecosystem broadly there are three types of functions of any ecosystem such as production of food this is a primary function energy is a secondary function and recycling of matter is a third and the final function we will cover this in detail now production of the food is the basic function of the ecosystem in each ecosystem the green ecosystem the green plants produce food by using sunlight air water and nutrients from the soil this process of food production is called as photosynthesis the plants use solar energy and convert it into the chemical energy such as carbohydrates and glucose thus only plants can produce food and store the surplus food in different parts such as leaves fruits roots nuts stem and seeds actually these parts are the godons of the plants distribution of nutrients and energy is a second function of the ecosystem in any ecosystem there are variety of organisms except green plants other organisms cannot produce their food so they consume the plants and organisms belong to the other population to satisfy their need of food and energy hence they are called as consumers thus energy from the green plants is transferred to the different types of consumers 
Recycling of matter is a third function of the ecosystem. All living organisms are mortal. When they die, the detritivores decompose them and recycle the nutrients from the dead organic matter. Detritivores are fed on dead organic matter. They are of two types, scavengers and decomposers. Scavengers like vulture, rat, crow consumes dead organic matter while decomposers such as fungi, earthworms, insect decomposes the dead organic material. So students, if you like this video, please type EduCafe YouTube channel for notification of new videos. Thank you.